Hi everyone, it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you all at the Data Toboggan event for today's lightning session, an introduction to machine learning in Power BI. So with that being said, uh, my name is Leon Gordon, current Microsoft Data Platform MVP, um, and feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn or at my uh, company website, which is pomerolpartners.com. Um, I'm also the founder of the Microsoft Power BI UK user group and the Data DNA Dataset Visualization group, uh, and a con regular contributor to Forbes and the Brains magazine as well. So with that being said, um, let's take a look at what we will cover today. So we will understand what is machine learning, often referred to as ML, um, how can we benefit from machine learning in Power BI, how to create a machine learning model in Power BI Premium or Premium per user, how to create a machine learning model in Power BI for free, and then I'll give you some resources to continue learning at the end. Okay, as this is a lightning session, we're going to go through at quite a lot of pace and at a high um, level and gloss over a lot of the technical aspects. So first and foremost, what is machine learning? So machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence, often referred to as AI, that teaches computers to do what comes naturally to humans and animals, which is to learn from experience. Machine learning algorithms use computational methods to learn information directly from data without relying on a predetermined equation as a model. So the keys to take away here is that we're looking to make the computer or machine learn from experience and to learn information directly from data. Okay, so how can we benefit from machine learning in Power BI? Well, in today's example, we're going to take a look at uh, customer leads and conversion, but you can also do customer churn analysis or predict fraud. So with that being said, we have a fictional organization that currently has a problem. They spend over three million pounds per year on purchasing leads, and they have a very low 4.3% conversion rate. As we can see here, the leads travel through a sales funnel, um, and ultimately only a 4.3% amount of these leads actually ends in a conversion. So we have a two-pronged problem here. One being that this organization has a high lead spend, over three million pounds per year, and also that there's a small conversion percentage. Okay, so with that being said, wouldn't it be great if we could use machine learning within Power BI to start to predict which of these leads would actually convert into a sale for us based on our previous customers? So let's go ahead and see how we can do that using machine learning within Power BI. So first and foremost, as we go into our demo, I'll just show you our data set. So what we have is our sales training data, and we also have our prospective buyer data. Okay, so I'll just open those up in new tabs. And once those open up, I'll go through some of the information we have. So we have our columns here, which is age, marital status, gender, yearly income, total children, and so on and so forth for our existing, our existing customers. We also have an additional column, which denotes whether or not this customer was a buyer for us. Now, arguably, this is our most important column within this data set. We're going to use this historic customers to train our machine learning model. Also, we have what will be referred to as our lead data set, which is prospective buyers, whereby we have a lot of common attributes like age, marital status, gender, and so on and so forth, but we do not have a buyer column. Now, the reason for this is obviously these are leads who we have not seen before, not called, not contacted, and we do not know whether the outcome that there will be a buyer or not with us as of yet. So once we have our data available, what we want to do is have this in our Power BI service. Now, because this is a lightning session, I'm going to go to an already pre-developed version um, of this data flow. So I'm going to go over into my sandbox environment, head over to our data flows. So I'm going to use the data flow that I've previously created, which is ML test. Um, and within ML underscore test, we would have already ingested our two underlying tables, so our sales training data and our prospective buyer data. We'll then be able to go through and hit machine learning models to be guided through the UI and wizard to start to create and train our model. Um, we'll do this by selecting training data, choosing a model type before ultimately training our model, iterating and retrain, and then applying the model and being able to actually get back our predictions off the back of it. So to do this, we're going to get started. We're going to choose our table of what we want to predict. Now we want to use our sales training data and go ahead and predict whether the outcome will be a buyer or not. We can go ahead and select next. And in the background, Power BI will just pass the underlying uh, tables to be able to actually um, 
determine which classification model is best for us. Now in this example we're going to use the binary prediction model and the target outcome that we want will be when this column is actually set to true. We can go ahead and select next and we can go ahead and start to select the data which we would like to study. Now this is either the columns or features um, as often referred to in machine learning that we think will have a high correlation with the outcome of the buyer. Now, Power BI on the service does give us um, some further information on whether there's a low correlation with the outcome or not. And once we're happy, we can go ahead and select next before giving our model a name, ML, let's go for webinar, and a description if needed, and choosing the training time. Now, because we're going through this in a lightning session, I'm going to go ahead and set the training time to five minutes before selecting save and train. Once we've selected save and train, uh, I'm going to go actually to a predetermined and deployed version of this rather than wait the allotted five minutes for the model to train. Okay, so once we've successfully trained our machine learning model, we can now see we have some additional tables available to us. So we have our buyer prediction training data, which was used to actually train our prediction model, our testing data, which was used to then test those predictions against, and the table that we're most interested in is our prospective buyer enriched buyer prediction table, okay? So this is actually our lead data, which has now been enhanced with additional predictions from our machine learning model. So let's go ahead over to Power BI Desktop, open a new report, and we can go ahead and connect to that data flow and see our results. So let's go to new. Okay, so let's go ahead and select get data. And what we're going to look to do is connect directly to our Power BI workspace, the sandbox workspace, and open up um, our Power BI data flow uh, with our enriched data. Okay, so once our get data screen has loaded, let's go ahead and type data flows. We're going to be interested in the Power BI data flows. Select connect. And once that connection has been made to our sandbox workspace, we can go ahead and select our ML webinar deployed, which is our previously deployed version um, of our machine learning model. We're interested in our prospective buyer enriched buyer prediction data. Let's go ahead and load that data directly into our Power BI file. Okay, excellent. So now that our lead data is actually loaded into Power BI's desktop, we can go ahead and select a couple of fields. So let's select our first name for our lead, our last name. Let's also go with our buyer prediction outcomes. This is the prediction from our machine learning model and also the scoring against that prediction. We're going to go ahead and make this table slightly bigger. Okay. And I'm also going to go ahead and add a rudimentary filter for the purposes of this demonstration, which will allow us to select whether that prediction is true or false. So as we can see, by using our Power BI machine learning model, we've been able to have our lead data and a, a buyer prediction applied to each of these leads. Now with this buyer prediction, our final column denotes the scoring on ter in terms of how accurate our machine learning model believes that prediction to be. Okay, so generally the higher the prediction score, the more of a likelihood of this prediction being correct. Okay, and we can go ahead and filter this data to true, where we expect these leads to become buyers. Or ultimately, we can then filter this to be false, whereby the expectation is that these leads will not convert to us. Okay, that's great. So we've learned how to do lead conversion prediction within Power BI Premium or Premium per user very easily and very quickly. But how do we do this in Power BI Desktop for free? Well, with the introduction of Python. Now, as I mentioned, this is a lightning session, so please do go ahead and follow my longer sessions to understand how to get Python integrated onto your machine. And also, I do have a script available on my um, GitHub, which I will share in the comments, whereby you can actually import your data. I'm just going to show you this query on something that's been previously imported. And what this will allow us to do is actually use a Python script as our source. So within the Python script, what we're going to do is apply all of those, um, all of the functionality that we just walked through in Power BI in the service in premium per user. And we're actually going to use Python to apply this to our underlying data to train our machine learning model using a module called PyCarrot. Um, and then we're going to push this into Power BI um, in a similar vein to how we did before to be able to report upon. So once you've actually ingested um, this Python script as a source into your Power BI desktop file, you'll be presented with something that looks like this. So I'm just going to close. And the end table you have here is our Python lead data. Okay, now you'll see within this Python lead data, we just have a first name, a last name, 
a label and a scoring alongside a prospective buyer key. Now the information that we're interested in is the first name, the last name, the label and the scoring. And as you'll see here, we can do exactly the same as we did in Power BI Premium once we've applied this Python script. We can we can sort where we or sorry, we can filter where we believe that the leads will convert into buyer, and we can also filter uh, based on Boolean values to whether we feel that the lead will not convert as well. So please stay tuned um, in future sessions so we can go through this in a bit more detail, but at a very high level for this lightning talk, you've been able to see how we can use Power BI Premium and Premium per user to do lead classification and conversion prediction. Uh, and also you've been able to see how we can do this in Power BI Desktop using Python. So with that being said, I will leave you with some additional resources as we go back to our PowerPoint presentation. Uh, and again, these will be made, the links to this will be made available to you in the chat. And thank you for dropping by. If you have any questions, then please do feel free to ask them now. And please do feel free to go ahead and follow me on social media on LinkedIn and check out our website, which is pomerolpartners.com. We would love to see you in the Microsoft Power BI UK user group and also participating in the Data DNA Dataset Visualization Challenge. Look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe.